Hello everybody, I am going to be reading Christmas in the Trenches today. The author is John McCoochin and the illustrator is Henry Sorensen. Christmas in the Trenches. The presents had been opened and dinner was over. After a long walk through the snow-covered fields, young Thomas Tolliver curled up next to his grandfather and announced, Grandpa, this was my very favorite Christmas. Do you have a favorite Christmas? Yes, Thomas, I do, said Grandpa. I was far away from home here in Liverpool. It was a Christmas many years ago during the first winter of the, of the Great War. You were in the war, Grandpa, chirped little Nora climbing onto his lap. What was it like? Were you a hero? Grandpa smiled. Let's see, he said. Why don't I start at the beginning? The two children snuggled closer. It was 1914. My mates and I had been on the battlefield for many weeks. We were all so young, just boys, lonely and frightened, trying to be brave. We had spent a long, cold month in the muddy trenches that were now our home. We all knew that there would be no break in the fighting. We knew we would be spending Christmas in the trenches. That Christmas Eve was a night like tonight. The skies were clearing and frost covered no man's land. The field that separated us from the German soldiers Staring out toward the enemy trenches, we waited. Between the bombs and the battles, war is mostly waiting. Waiting to see who will make the next move. That night, we figured it would be Germans, and we were right. Suddenly, a sentry signaled for silence. We all hushed. A ghostly sound cut through the cold night air. Singing! It was coming from the enemy's side of no man's land. One of the lads who knew German said, It's a Christmas carol. He's singing right well, you know. Soon it seemed every German voice joined in. When they were finished, what could we do? We sang right back at them. God rest ye merry gentlemen. All of us knew that one. Then they sang something familiar. We couldn't understand the words. Still knocked? But we knew the melody. It was silent night. And suddenly, in two tongues, one song filled the night sky. I never imagined singing could seem so holy. Someone's coming toward us, the frontline sentry cried. As we aimed our rifles into the December darkness, we saw a most amazing sight. A single figure was coming across no man's land. In one hand, he held a white truce flag. In the other, a Christmas tree shining with candles. It was so surprising and so brave, I couldn't help myself. I leapt from the trench and walked toward it. I was the first one, but soon everyone else from both sides was out there too. It was all so new and strange. We were nervous at first. Before long, though, we were trading small gifts of chocolate, tins of meat, whatever we had to share. When we began showing each other photographs from home, we were no longer soldiers, no longer enemies. We were all just sons and fathers far away from our families and loved ones. Our lad Sanders brought out his squeak box. One of our boys joined in on a nice violin and someone had a ball.
It was quite the Christmas party we had, but all too soon the dawn reminded us it was time to get back to our own sides. Back to the three trenches. Back to the waiting, wondering what had just happened to us and wondering what the next move should be. That was my favorite memory. That Christmas in the trenches, I'm a different man today because of the boy I was that night. Grandpa hugged the children tighter. Was I a hero? Uh, for just one night, yes. We were all heroes. Isn't that such a good book? I love that one. Okay, we'll see you next time.